Okay there people, now this is not a usual video that I post regularly on my YouTube channel but this time I'm gonna be posting this, this one uh, directly out there. Now you can see directly that there is an AdBeans open up in my screen but before, before we move on I would like to share this incident. Now you might be having good friends, so do I have, but I do have some annoying friends as well. Now what happened, I owe a big time to one of my friends and he called me up at this time which is, let me tell you, it's 4 in the morning, almost. See that? Check that out. Oops. It's 4 in the morning and some of my annoying friends don't even bother and just call me at the 4 in the morning and say, Hey, Teish, uh, you owe me one big time. I said, yes, but is it a time to pay back? He said, yes, this is the time. I know you are not yet sleeping. So I said, yes, what can I do for you? He said, uh, my younger brother needs a project to be done. I said, what? You just want to do a project at midnight in here? And by the way, tomorrow is Sunday. So he asked me that he wants to create a media application, uh, a simple Java-based uh, player, which can open any media file and can play that file. And that's it. And he said, I want you to create that, please. I know this is awkward. I'm calling at this time. But uh, my younger brother is so annoying. And it's, it's something important that needs to be delivered on Sunday morning. Okay, now I know this is this is not kind of a regular video that I post around, the quality is not so good and everything. I'm not going to even turn off my AC because I'm super, super annoyed right now, but still I'm going to code this application and just deliver this application and will sleep after this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, since he his instructions were not clear, he just told me we need a simple GUI based application which can open a file and play it. I'm going to do exactly that not even a close button or anything. I'm just going to design that and I'm going to be sharing it with you as well in the Java, of course, the two annoying things. I don't like Java. I don't like to be called up at the four o'clock in the morning and I want to sleep now. So I'm going to be just doing a simple application which can open a file and play that. That's it. That's it. I know this is not a kind of a video I usually post, but I want to post that because I'm going to be sharing this link and tell him that how annoyed I am right now. Okay, coming back onto the point, we're going to be using NetBeans in here. Not one of my favorite editors, of course. Uh, I do prefer Eclipse and on top of that, I prefer uh, Intel J if I have to code in Java. Uh, on top of that, I'm going to be using Scene Builder uh, from this uh, GLU on HQ.com, whatever that website is, just try to search on Scene Builder. And it's it's one of the very first link you will come across. Very useful, very handy. Just select the version of what you want. In this case, I'm going to be going with the Mac. Uh, if you're on the Windows and still survived uh, with that nasty uh, malware, then still uh, just go ahead, download that. And uh, there we go. That's it. That's pretty much it. Let's just close this guy. We don't need you. Yes, that's my wallpaper. Work harder. I'm trying. And still people are waking me up at four o'clock in the morning, super annoying. So uh, I can open up my net beans, wherever that is. And where are you net beans? It's taking a little bit while popping, popping up. Wait a second, my dear friends. Okay, come on. Come on, net beans, you can do this. Open up. Done loading modules. Okay. And it's just still taking, still taking a minute. Come on, can't you be a little bit faster? And there we go, finally opened up. Let's move in, in here. I can do a full screen. Oh no, this is fine, this is okay. So what I have to do is file and create a new project. Uh, please forgive me if my instructions are not that much clear. I just want to clear up this project quickly. So this will be a fun project if you want to do along with me. So it will be a Java FXML, by the way, you can also do the same project in the swing as well. I think Java FXML will be super helpful for me to quickly finish this project off. And uh, let's just click on the next and the yes, just do whatever you want to do. I'm going to be creating and naming it as uh, media, media player annoying. Yep, this is what I do when you call me at four o'clock. So Yep, and uh, let's just do a finish. Uh, make sure the create application class is also being checked marked there. And what it will does, it will 
create a fxml file for you and uh, in case you haven't downloaded that scene builder yet go ahead do that otherwise things instructions will not work okay so go into the tools and uh, for windows guys go into the tools for the mac guys go into the netbeans and preferences and where are my preferences there we go click on the java and uh, click on J java fx and make sure your scene builder is selected for windows guys you have to go into wherever you have installed the scene builder c drive program files user data app data wherever that is cool and uh, just click on apply okay my mine is already done i have done a previous projects in there in the java had to be doing that and now uh, let's click on this guy. Let's first run this application if it is running or not or making some nonsense things in here. I don't make these kinds of video regularly. Don't you think so? Yeah. And there we go. We have a nice, this small guy. I can click on it. Oh, it says hello world. Nice, nice. And now I can do is, if your scene builder is properly set, you can right click and click on open. Otherwise open option will not be available for you and there we go our scene builder and what i can do is i can actually delete all of these guys yeah delete that delete that too delete that and uh, there we go and uh, just bring it in here okay so what i want to do have in here i want to have first of all a border pane so border border pane is nice just drag and drop and uh, Whatever the size is, it's okay. I'm not going to bother much. But you can play around with the layouts as well. 600 by 400. Anything will work in this case. And uh, I need a couple of uh, horizontal box and uh, vertical boxes. So first let's get a V box. And uh, I'll drag and drop it to the bottom. And that's, that's too big for me. I'll just put it in here and then I'll need a H box as well to put inside the V box. You can design it as 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 you wish. This is this is okay, cool. I'll select this H box guy and uh, my preferred height would be like 50. Oops, I bumped into the microphone. Don't do that again. And use computed size. Okay, that's okay. And now what I want is bottom not bottom you know i'm sleepy i need a button and button is gonna go into the edge box and that guy is gonna say open 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 anything okay looks pretty decent okay now what we need is uh we need a stack pane Stack pane and stack pane will go into the center of this guy because maybe he needs to add something more in there. Maybe, maybe he does. Okay. And uh, inside the stack pane, I can add a media, media view. Pretty easy, pretty easy stuff. Uh, this is too small, too small for me. Media, hey, what is your layout properties? Width should be maybe 400. Yeah, 400 is good. This guy is 300. I'm not bothered about the aspect ratio as of now. 500 would be good. Yeah, looks pretty decent. So we do have an open box and it can play some media files there. No big deal. Uh, but we haven't linked up anything yet. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this button guy and I'm going to open the controller. And uh, this button guy would be linked uh, to this guy. And then I can move into the code and I can say into on action. Yeah, whatever the default handle action button that is. I'm going to just work with that. And I'm going to save this guy. Hmm, interesting. Now I need to go back to hierarchy, media view. And I'll select this guy, open into the code view. And I need to give it a media ID as well, because obviously I would be needing it. So let's just call this as media view. Hit enter. I know it's it's probably yelling at you as well, because we haven't written a FX accessible code uh, for this FX ID. But that's okay. I'll save this guy. And I'll close this off. Probably we won't be needing it anymore anytime soon. So uh, let's just go in there. First of all, I would like to remove my annoying face in here because it's it's annoying. So 
now uh, let's just do and i think it's visible enough uh, i want to go into this uh, controller java file uh, where we can have this access handle button action i don't want to print you hello world i want you to do much more much more than that so first of all first thing would be uh, to access uh, the media player and uh, how we can do that how we can do that okay although we don't need this label guy but i'll just keep it there and uh, all you have to say is fxml and then you can access this private uh, media view is going to be uh, simply media view it's going to yell us at because it's not being declared and i can hit uh, or click in here and hit alt and enter and click on enter to automatically enter everything for me okay that's good not bad not bad not bad we can finish it very quickly there is nothing much in here to deal up with that so for the media player we have got access to the media player uh, now we need uh, one more variable to store uh, whatever our file path is uh, the media path and we can just work on with that so let's just have a private uh, this is going to be obviously a string java works quite a lot in the string uh, file path there we go and in here what we can do is uh, there are a couple of steps involved i don't know maybe you know it or not but if you want to open up a file and play that in the media player there are a couple of steps in ios android in java pretty much anywhere where you code it first is you have to choose a file with extension uh, and then you have to open a dialog box to choose that file and then you have to set a path where you have chosen the file and then simply you have to uh, just uh, uh, set it into a media player and play it okay quite a lot of stuff but it's not that much so what we can do is we can first have a file chooser and this file chooser will of course be file chooser there we go gonna yell us out because file chooser is not being declared yet so it's gonna be new file oops file chooser there we go uh, nice and easy nice and easy and obviously we need to just hit alt and enter there i don't know if there is a shortcut to just fix that quickly more quickly than that and uh, now what we have to do after this is to mention that uh, we want mp4 files because i want to play my video files my youtube video files for there so what i can do is simply say oops file chooser is gonna have dot x10 come on suggest me control space yeah extension filter and that's gonna be filter now filter is available in here extension is predefined in the file chooser and i'm gonna say simply new and file oops file chooser dot come on suggest me extension filter yep and it takes two parameters you can see in here uh, description and the extension i always forget them so i always rely on these suggestions file path okay so file path uh, uh will be given for you no i don't need that so i'll hit command z uh, extension filter and uh, i need this guy the description and the extension okay wow come on that was awkward and control space i'm asking you to give this guy the description and the extension and again and again you just give me file path okay i'll be arrogant and we'll be writing the description and the extensions in here so two double quotes and for extension i want to open all mp4 great and what were what the description mp4 file please there we go nice and easy okay that is okay so we have chosen our file and done good things with that and now we need to apply everything so how is that file chooser uh, dot get x come on suggest me get extension filter dot add and this guy takes a one parameter only uh, we could have actually placed this new file chooser and everything in here but we have stored that into a variable so we're gonna copy this guy and paste that and uh, to be honest we have done all of this this massacre thing just just for this guy because this guy needs it okay 
So there we go. Now we have done this guy. Obviously, we need to put a semicolon, annoying semicolon there. And now, now let's choose a file in here. So everything is done that we are only looking for MP4 file. Now it's time to open up a dialog box. And what we are going to do is uh, file equals uh, file chooser. Okay, choosy chooser. Just uh, show open dialog box. I, I never was a big fan of this name. They could have done it a little bit simpler by simply open dialog, but show open dialog. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny for me. And we are going to just give it a null there. Obviously, it's yelling for the file. Alt enter and add import. Now you're happy. Yep, he is happy. And uh, what else we can do with this file? Uh, now we can bring up our file path, uh, this guy, uh, to actually work on in here. Okay, so I can just put my cursor there. Okay, nice. And now when the dialog box is open up, I'm going to say, you know what, uh, our variable file path. Okay, is that a file path? Yep, I like to copy this guy. Maybe I'm making a mistake. Okay, file path is good now. Is going to be equal to file dot to I'm looking for this guy to URI and it will be converted to string otherwise it always yells string and there we go should be now file path should have uh, this URI path and it is converted being into the string okay everything in Java um, mostly mostly things are in the Java are are gonna work in the string so we're gonna have now a test that if uh, there is a file path, it should not be null. There should be a file path. If there is a file path, then we are gonna just play it. Just that much it. So last block in here, I think so. So if file path is not, I know this may crash uh, because there are a lot of things you need to check around, but I don't care for that right now. It is gonna be simply media. And this is gonna be media equals new media. <laughs> this is funny too much of the media in here. Uh, file path. So we have given a file path to the media. Come on, yell me at media. Alt and enter. Sometimes I don't even realize that I have imported this package or not. I forget that. So there we go. And we can have a media player. And uh, this is going to be new uh, media. Come on, suggest me something. Media player. Annoying. Okay. Uh, this is not I'm looking for. Uh, media player just, maybe. Player. And there we go. Okay. Uh, media player. There we go. Media player is going to be equals to media player. And we need a media there. And there we go. And why is it even annoying in here? Okay. So we are having some problem. Okay. So what we are doing in here is problematic. Okay, you want to add more things in here? I don't know why you, sh you are doing that. We have just imported that, but again, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, looks good. Media player. Maybe we are doing a mistake in here, but we'll fix that out in a second. And uh, let's just carry on with that. Okay, I think, I think well, I know what the problem is. Uh, because I am calling this as media player annoying, maybe. Okay, we'll fix that. We'll fix that. Maybe, maybe I'm too much sleepy. So media player or media player is done. So media view. Now let's call set. And what I want to do is set media player. There we go. And it requires a value. So we're going to use media player that we have just created. And there we go. Why is it annoying at media? Cannot find symbol. Media player. Okay, why can't you find that? Okay. Now that's strange. Media player, new media player. Looks good to me. What is the problem in here? Okay, we'll, we'll fix that in a second. Uh, all that we need to do is now play the media. Media dot player dot play come on suggest me no suggestion at all 
That was rude. Okay, so we got a me. Oops, why why a dot in there? Media player dot play. So why the media player is not working? Media should have a media player. And uh, okay, uh, I think the reason why media player is not working because I haven't defined it yet. How's that possible? Yeah, I think it's too much slippy. So let's define it. There is no big deal. Let's just define it. String. I thought I have defined it. Maybe. I'm too much sleepy. Media player. That's it. Okay. You are too much, too much annoying there. And uh, oops, I forgot that it's it should not be a string type. It should be a media player type. Media player. And there we go. You have learned the debugging process as well. Uh, I think it's happy now. If not, we can just press Alt Enter. Yeah, it's happy. It's happy. I thought I have defined a media player of type media player. So let me summarize what we have done. We have used a file chooser to choose the file and we have given specific instruction that only choose mp4 file in there. And now we are just adding a filter in there. No big deal. Then we are opening up a file chooser or a dialog box which can point to the file. And once the file location is being picked up by two URI, we are converting that into the string so that we can store that in a variable file path. Why? Because once the file path is not null, it is being required by this media guy so that it can play the media. And we have given it a file path. So now it has picked up the media. And in the media player, we have created a new instance of this guy. And now we are setting the media player uh, to media player, obviously, and now we are playing that. Too much, too much of the code sometimes, but it's it's pretty easy. Now let's just save that and hit a run there. Uh, maybe we, we may crash this application. Okay, there we go, didn't crash. Open this guy, and there we go, my YouTube, and uh, one tip that every beginner programmer needs. A little bit old video. Let's just play this guy. Yeah, that is cool. Okay. There we go. Does it open or crash? Yep, yeah, it plays. Yes, it plays. It plays. The four o'clock job is done within 20 minutes. But yeah, not a big deal because I've worked on this kind of media player pro in the past as well. So probably still the code hasn't changed much. But this is a fun project. I won't be saying anything after this because this is done. I have to pack this project and just deliver it uh, to my annoying friend. And I'll link you. Uh, and to my annoying friend, don't call me again in 4 o'clock in the morning. That's my sleeping time. Okay, buddy. And uh, I owed you one. Now I don't.